Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is the ninth video in this series that we have started on social information networks. So social information networks is one of the most important subjects in the computer science engineering course. So in this video, we will be discussing about betweenness centrality. Now, what is a centrality measure? A centrality measure is basically the uh, the measure to to calculate or to understand how important a given node is in a graph. So that is what centrality is all about. We have already discussed degree centrality in our previous video. We have also discussed closeness centrality in one of our previous videos. In this video, we will be discussing betweenness centrality. And apart from betweenness centrality, there is one more uh, kind of centrality which is known as eigenvector centrality which we will be discussing in one of our future videos so we've been doing this playlist in which we have uh, uh, discussed most of the important uh, concepts of social information networks and we will continue to increase this playlist and the link to this playlist is given in the description below so if you haven't checked out yet do check that out now what is degree centrality? Degree centrality is basically the centrality measure which is based upon the number of edges or the number of nodes a given node is directly connected to. So based on that, you will understand how important that given node is. That is what degree centrality is about. Now, what is closeness centrality? Closeness centrality is the average of all the shortest distances to all the other nodes in the graph. That is how well connected or how easily can you transfer information from a given node to any other node that is how you measure popularity using using closeness centrality now we are here to discuss betweenness centrality what is betweenness centrality betweenness centrality is basically to which extent a particular node lies on the shortest distance between other nodes that is there are two nodes and to what extent does our node lie on the shortest distance of uh, communication between two other nodes? That is, if A and B are two given two nodes and we want to calculate the betweenness centrality of a given node C. Now, uh, if the C, if let's say there is no direct connection between A and B, and the connection is only through C. Okay. So the connection, if you want to connect A to B, the only possible way is to go through C. Now, what does that make C? That makes C an important uh, character in the network, right? Because without C, A and B are not connected at all. So, which means that C is an important part of our network. So that is the reason or that is the uh, measure in which we are calculating the uh, popularity or the importance of a given node. So we are calculating the importance of a given node based on how many times or to what extent does our node or does the given node lie on the shortest part between other nodes. Now let's say if D and E are also there and they are also connecting to C. So they can also go on like D can connect to E and E can connect to D only through C. Other if C is removed, they cannot be connected to each other. And similarly, A, E cannot be connected and B, D cannot be connected. So this makes C have a high betweenness centrality, which means it is very important in terms of the betweenness. That is, it is more in between nodes, right? So this is basically how betweenness centrality is defined. And now let us see uh, this node C that we have, right? This lies on basically the, uh, it lies in between A, E, A, B, C, uh, D, E and B, D as well, right? So this is how we calculate the importance of the node based on the betweenness importance based on the degree is how many nodes it is directly connected to importance uh, based on closeness is basically the average of the shortest distances to the other nodes that is how easily you can communicate uh, because of the presence of c with other nodes and the betweenness is basically how in between the network is c that is how many shortest paths have uh, C in them 
okay so this is basically what betweenness centrality is all about now let us take an example and calculate the betweenness centrality of a uh, of a given node okay so now let us say we have a graph here a b c d e and f in your exam they might give you a graph like this and they might ask you uh let calculate the betweenness centrality for a given for the node c in this graph or for the node a in this graph so like that they might give you any node in the graph and ask you to calculate the betweenness centrality or in this example we'll be calculating the betweenness centrality for c okay so you need to make a table with all the edges that are there between all the all combinations of two nodes without including c so we have a b we have a d we have a e a f a uh, sorry a is done then b d b e b f d e d f and e f so these are all the node all the combinations of nodes that we have in our um in our network right or in our graph okay so now the first column will be the total number of shortest paths yeah so let me just reiterate this formula once again to you the numerator is total shortest paths through which node passes divided by total shortest paths that exist okay good now between a and b how many shortest paths exist there's only one because they are directly connected okay now between a and d okay let us make the other call as well so total number of shortest paths total shortest paths with c passing through the path okay and the formula basically the betweenness centrality okay now a b in the shortest path is c there no right so we give it zero okay and we do the and gate we perform the and gate between this which is basically uh, the formula betweenness centrality the formula of betweenness centrality now we apply the formula of betweenness centrality and we give this as zero because zero divided by one is zero now between a and d how many shortest paths are there a c d is one shortest path and that is the only shortest path because there are only two edges in this so one one now one by one is one now similarly you do for a e a e also has only one shortest path which is a c d e right and c is a part of that as well so we give one 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 a f again one 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 similarly you fill in the entire table so they all have only one uh, closest or shortest path and this is also one this is also one this is also one d e is zero d f is zero e f is zero one 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 zero 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 now our table is complete the betweenness centrality for all the edges with respect to with respect to c is being calculated in this table now what is the formula you have to do the summation right the summation of uh the betweenness centralities right so 
or rather the betweenness for okay let me just show you like this let's call this just the betweenness okay now basically so betweenness centrality is basically the summation of all the betweennesses that we have which means that we add up all these here so we have 1 2 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 so the betweenness centrality for the node c in this network is 6 okay so that will be your final answer okay right i hope you understood what betweenness centrality is and how it is calculated right so basically you find out for each set of nodes you find out what is the shortest path between them how many such paths are there okay that will be your first row first uh, column the second column will be will be how many through how many of those paths that you calculated in the first column does C pass through or does the given node or the node for which you are calculating the betweenness centrality how many uh, shortest paths that does that node pass through or how many uh, such so how many of the shortest paths have the node for which you are calculating the betweenness centrality in them that is the second column okay and the third column is basically the second column divided by the first column okay and finally what is the value of the betweenness centrality that will be the summation of all the values that you have in the third column okay i hope that made it clear and that's all i had for this video betweenness centrality is also again a very important measure it helps us understand how uh, the power is informally present for a given node and it basically uh, can transfer information between no two nodes easily that is how how easily can a node transfer information between two other nodes so all these things can be understood from the betweenness centrality uh, measure so that's all i had for this video i hope you got to learn something if you did please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video where we will be discussing some more interesting topics. Thank you for watching.